This is Rocky Romero with Peers on the Man, and it's my pleasure today to introduce to you Gary Moore from Pelican Technologies. Gary, welcome. Hi, good morning, Rocky. Thank you. Gary, I wonder if you could share a little bit about yourself and your business. Sure. So um, we started, or I started Pelican Technologies about 16 years ago. Uh, we focus on uh, providing our client services, specifically in the development of custom software applications that um, they generally bind or tie other larger, more complicated systems together. They're referred to as gapware or middleware. They're tiny little bits of software that run quietly behind the scenes, but make generally businesses more efficient or more profitable. And so that's that's one thing that we do. The other, you know, from a service perspective, is that we provide our clients with uh, private secure cloud applications or thin client so database driven website applications. These are not applications that are in a Microsoft cloud or, or uh, Amazon cloud. It is that we spin up a private secure cloud for our clients. They, we manage their database on their own server in a very secure manner. And those applications are driven around their internal processes. So those are, those are two of the services that we provide to our clients. The third thing that Pelican does is we generate uh, intellectual property, uh, uh, software applications that we then resell to, uh, to companies that could use those tools. Typically, those are software as a service applications. Uh, previously, they've been in the security industry and in uh, radio frequency identification or RFID. We've sort of transcended that and moved on to a new kind of technology that uses optical markers and uniquely identified optical markers to be able to do things like asset location, uh, chain of custody tracking, process oversight, um, inspection certification, just generally uh, the sorts of things where you've got people running around out in the field, you wanna keep track of where they're at and what they're doing and or you've got machinery equipment out in the field and you want to keep track of where it's been and who's handled it. Wondering if you could share a story of somebody that's received tremendous value by working with you, what would that be? Um, in, in the software application that we've been um, actively promoting, which is called Sparrow, uh, we've got a, um, a, a fleet management um, company or an auto, auto uh, repair shop, I guess is the best way of putting it. And they've got a various number of uh, fleet management contracts with, with various other companies. So that when this, when this auto repair shop, they didn't have any really good way of tracking uh, what services they were performing on each of the vehicles, when the last time each of the vehicles was being serviced, um, or what expenses were really related to the servicing of those vehicles. It was all done with a paper trail. And it's it's a dirty environment, and it's it's hard to keep paper trail. So uh, we provided them with Sparrow, which is that they uh, on their printer there in the in the auto shop they printed a a little sticker, and I've got an example of one of those that I can share. It looks like this. They put it in the glove box of each of the vans or trucks that they're servicing. And when those vans or trucks come in, their techs in the, in the bays scan each of those codes. And when they do, they scan it with their cell phone, just like normal. Um, it displays a screen that says, oh, you're looking at this particular van. This is the last time it came in for service. What services are you performing? And, and the tech fills all that information out on the screen of his tablet or his phone. And when he's done, he clicks the submit button and now there's a database record in a private secure online database that only the shop owner has access to that gives them a detailed report of every vehicle that he's seen and when and where those vehicles were seen, who saw them, what actions were performed, and from a billing perspective, how he needs to go and bill each of his clients. So he's more proficient at doing what he already does. All we did is that provided him with a little tool that makes him do it a little bit better. Curious if maybe you could share who your ideal client or connection or contact might be. Uh, typically, from a client perspective, on the on the Sparrow side of things, it's it's small to medium sized businesses. These are companies that uh, you know between a million and five million annual revenue. 
companies that um, could use some automation, could use some process oversight. Maybe they, you know, they lose their equipment or their tools, or they, they need to keep track of their techs out in the field. Um, these are companies that just need to know, you know, what's going on and don't have a really good idea of what's happening in the weeds per se. So that's, that's an ideal client for us um, on the Sparrow side of things on our, on our services. Uh, pretty much it's, it's the same sort of size of company, but it's, um, it's companies that are looking to build out their critical infrastructure with um, custom IT applications. Gary, if somebody wanted to reach out and connect with you, what's the best way for them to reach you? So we have a website for Sparrow, which is at uh, www.sparrowoversight.com which explains um, Sparrow and, and provides actual functional demonstration of it. And there's a contact us link at the bottom there. And then for the company in general, uh, Pelican Technologies, our website is www.technopelican.com. And there's various information about our various products and our services. And again, the ability to contact me there.